Hi guys, welcome to Beer Time. Kyle here. Let's do some day drinking. Welcome to another episode of Day Drinking. I'm excited. I hope you are too. I've got a canned offering today. It's somewhat of a big beer. It's running 10%. I've not had this before, although I feel like I should have. This is one of Oscar Blue's. You can just notice it right in the can. It's like a two-color can, right? Kind of straightforward. This is their Gubna. And the Gubna is an Imperial IPA. I'm looking forward to giving it a go. At 10%, it should uh, tickle my fancy and uh, light my fire, so to speak. So we'll see how it goes today. I'm going to try it in a tasting glass today, and we'll, we'll just kind of uh, check that out. This one uh, is brewed in uh, Brever, North Carolina, so it's you know comes from a different location. Uh, I believe they're also um, out of Colorado, so uh, originally, but it'll be nice to try this. It's kind of a light, kind of a light orange color. And as I'm looking at it more fully, it's got more of a kind of a starburst kind of orange, um, sunburst kind of orange, if you will. And it looks pretty good. It's got about an eighth of an inch head on it. It's not, not really. But, you know, at 10%, maybe that's okay. Uh, it's got a lot of alcohol in it, and that's just going to translate to probably a little less carbonation. Mmm, it smells bright. Uh, I thought it would be a little sweeter on the nose. Uh, it, is, it is bright. It's got lots of uh, pine and some uh, sweet resin notes in it. And just smells good, you know. An Imperial IPA is, is almost always a good choice. So I feel for uh, day drinking today, I'm in for a treat. Let's uh, give it a try. Mmm. That's really good. It's got a round, sweet core that just kind of envelops your tongue. It's got a serious hop aftertaste to it. It's like, does it come off as like piles of hops, but then all those ingredients are just kind of like release, uh, are kind of released on the back of your uh, back of your mouth, and 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 kind of heavy, a little a little uh, dank, um, a little dark and dank. Uh, hops flavor back there too. Pretty um, sophisticated flavor really. Uh, it's really tasty. There's some rich fruit notes in here, kind of like overripe tropical fruits. that kind of part of that sweet element that comes through here. Mm. Maybe a little bit of vanilla. This is pretty good beer. And I'm not surprised by that. Oscar Blues makes a, a pretty great product. It smells it smells nice and bright. A little bit, now that I'm tasting it, a little bit of that kind of dank hops is in there. This isn't a what I consider more like a, a West Coast style Um if it is, it's just a different kind of take or kind of skew on that. There's still lots, I mean, there's lots of hops in there, but they're just kind of alcoholic hops. And those came, th those things kind of lay out on the back of your tongue as they're going down the old chute. It is tasty. Yeah, I'm getting kind of ribbons of vanilla kind of dessert fruit in this, like, you know, baked, maybe even a little bit of peach or apricot, but something that has been put together for a dessert purpose, if that makes sense, like it's got a little vanilla in it. Some pineapple, not bright pineapple, at least in the flavor of darker like cooked pineapple. That's tasty. Is this the best Imperial IPA ever, I've ever had? No, it's not. But it's different, <clears throat> and in that I like it. The flavors are in different locations, uh, in different places in my mouth, and than some other uh, Imperial IPAs I've had, and 
in that I find it kind of interesting and that's one of the great things about drinking beer and trying new beer is having a new beer experience excuse me and this has given me that that new fresh experience it's darker it's it's darker danker um, unapologetic I like that about uh, Oscar Blues it does that um, so one of their other beers their um, good night which is their uh, Imperial Red IPA. I think that's probably a better beer than that than this. But honestly, I'm glad I had this, and I'll probably buy a couple to keep them around. I think this would be a great beer to have with a cigar. It just has some dark complexity to it that I think is going to benefit and uh, benefit a cigar, but benefit a kind of a tasting experience, if you will. I think that's great. I think this is definitely great if you're just out for. You know, sharing a couple of beers with some friends. You don't need to slug down a bunch of these at 10%. You need, like, a can. It is very good. And, you know, as it's warming up, it's getting a little more boozy. It's a little sweeter. A little more round, rich flavor in it. It In that, it's kind of developing a little bit. And uh, I'm liking it. Look, guys, you ought to get out, do some day drinking, obviously. But I think, I think that if there's any takeaway today, I think Oscar Blues makes some great beer. And I think I, if I were you, I'd go out and maybe grab a four pack or a six pack, try this out, try some of the others out. They're just they're just awesome beers. And I feel like whenever I have their beers, I'm having a superior product put together by people that really care, and it makes for a great uh, drinking experience, and particularly a great day drinking experience. This is a great way to start my day. I like it. I'm going to enjoy it, and I hope you all can uh, do some day drinking, have a great day, and I'm going to get after this and uh, get on with it. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Hey.